Hey everybody, Travis here from Travis.media. Today I'm going to be showing you 10 VS Code shortcuts that every developer should memorize. Let's take a look. All right, the first shortcut you should learn is the command palette. The command palette is one of the most foundational of all VS Code shortcuts. It's the shortcut that gives you access to all the functionality of VS Code. Number two is the duplicate line down or up shortcut. This is a shortcut I use a lot in my workflow to boost productivity. Basically, you can take a line of code and duplicate it on the line above or below. This is helpful with single lines like li tags, also with whole blocks of code like a CSS block or a JavaScript function. Number three, the shortcut to move a line down or up. It's similar to the last shortcut, but this one moves the line of code up or down. It doesn't copy it, it moves the line of code up or down. Again, helpful with single lines like reordering li tags as well as blocks of code. Number four, the shortcut to indent or outdent a line. Another of the very helpful VS Code shortcuts and one you have to memorize. When you copy and paste something in VS Code, it doesn't always line up right. Actually, it rarely does. This shortcut allows you to indent or outdent a line or even an entire block of code. Number five, the multi-select selection. So say you decide to change all the H3 tags on your template to H4 tags. So do you go through and select each one and change it? No, you multi-select them all and change them all in one swoop. So in this example, you would highlight just one H3 tag, then you would use the shortcut to go through and select the other instances of this tag, and it provides you with an active cursor with each one. So that when you change one, you change them all. Number six, the multi-select cursor. This is similar to the above, but instead of selecting the next occurrences of a selection, you can actually place your cursor in multiple locations and make edits to all end at one time. All right, number seven, the toggle line comment shortcut. So we use line comments to disable a line or block of code, right? This VS Code shortcut allows you to disable a line or block of code by commenting it out. You can also use it again to re-enable that line or block of code by removing the comment markup. Number eight, the shortcut to show or hide the terminal. I almost exclusively use the VS Code integrated terminal and rarely ever use the Mac OS terminal. So of all the VS Code shortcuts, this is especially useful for me and for you if you do the same. Number nine is the shortcut to add a line comment. Adding a line comment to HTML and CSS is somewhat cumbersome to type out. Thankfully, VS Code has a shortcut to pop it in there for you. Finally, number 10 is the shortcut to toggle the sidebar. Of all the VS Code shortcuts, this is another major one for me. I don't like that sidebar there when I'm writing code. At the same time, when I need it back, I want it back with ease. And that's it. That's 10 VS Code shortcuts that as a developer you should memorize today. If you want to download all of these in a nice little cheat sheet, get the link below. Also, subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Have a great day.